Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make this amazing butter for hair and skin. Now, this butter is extremely moisturizing, that it will certainly help you retain moisture in your hair and cause it to grow long, healthy, and strong over time. And also, it's packed with natural ingredients and vitamins that are certainly good for our hair and skin. Now, if you suffer from dry skin, this is definitely one of the butters that you need to consider perhaps incorporating because it's of its extremely moisturizing properties now before we dive into it guys i just want to take a few seconds just to acknowledge you guys thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber i really appreciate you watching liking sharing and commenting and all of that so thank you so much if it's your first time on this channel i'm vanessa i make natural hair videos including lots of diys to help us grow strong healthy and long natural hair so if this kind of content interests you be sure to click the subscribe button and join the family so let's hop right into the video guys now the first ingredient we will be needing for this recipe will be some aloe vera you guys know how much i love aloe vera it's a great moisturizer and also has some amazing hair growth properties now i just decided to use a small portion of the aloe vera here you can use more if you want to wash it you know remove the sharp edges cut in the middle and i'm just using a spoon here just to scrape the gel out now you can actually scoop the whole aloe vera flesh if you want to and blend this and extract the juice from this but i actually just wanted to use the gel for this recipe using the juice will be absolutely fine as well now if you haven't got an actual aloe vera leaf you can buy you know the juice or the gel from the store and just use that now after i finished doing that guys we're ready to go in with our butter i'm using mango butter here but you can use any other butter of your choice it could be cocoa butter or any other butter that you've got pretty much so i added about maybe two tablespoons of the mango butter and then we're going to need some shea butter now shea butter is really great for our hair guys because it's really moisturizing not only for our hair actually for our skin too really moisturizing and also has some amazing hair growth properties so certainly consider using that into your regimen as well now i did about it's a bit difficult to know here to be honest because the shea butter is kind of solid in consistency but you can add as much as i did here now we're going to go in with our next ingredient which will be some extra virgin olive oil now you can use coconut oil as well if you want to argan oil or any other oil that you've got pretty much now i added half a cup of olive oil here and then we're going to go in with our next ingredient which would be some vitamin e now the reason why i added some extra vitamin e to this recipe is just because of the fact that i wanted to use it for my skin as well now the um olive oil already have vitamin e so you don't have to you know do this step if you haven't got vitamin e so don't worry just you know go and just use the three ingredients that we already mixed together now vitamin e is a very powerful antioxidant guys that may certainly help you know reduce the damaging effect of uv from the skin and also it helps to nourish your skin and just make it look healthy um so after you combine all of those together we are now going to place this in a hot water bath now you can actually do this on the stove which you will later find out that i end up doing it anyways i was just a little bit lazy guys in all honesty i didn't want to have you know to use a pot and then have to wash it again and i was like you know what i'm just gonna do a hot water bath but it was taking so long to melt so i ended up you know popping this on fire um so but if you got a bit more patience the water bath will definitely melt it so just give it a bit more time um so yeah just place it in a bowl add some hot water and just give it a bit of time to melt or just do the same thing with a pot on a stove and within like a few minutes it will be all melted so at this point guys it had completely melted this is basically what it looks like so nice and liquid in consistency so you want to get that off the fire and let it sit for a few minutes then pop it in your freezer for another few minutes now you need to be checking it regularly just so that it doesn't become too solid now i've taken my other freezer here this is what it looks like you can already see i had some fingerprints in it because i had been checking it regularly so that i don't get like a you know rock solid kind of thing 
now the aloe did not completely solidify and that's absolutely fine you don't want it to so this is the kind of consistency that you want now just use a spoon to mix everything together and then we're going to then use a mixer to um to whip this i don't actually know if this is a this is called a, mix, a mixer you know um but if i'm wrong i'll put the name down here um yeah so yeah just go ahead and whip this together just to combine the aloe vera with the butters and everything now after whipping it for about five minutes and then went on to add my essential oils now essential oils are great not only for our natural hair guys but great for the skin as well um so i will be using some pepper some peppermint essential oil here i don't actually know how many drops i added because this doesn't really come out properly so i'm really sorry for this guys but put as much or as little as you want um and also the tea tree oil essential oil is what i usually use but you can use any other essential oil of your choice um these are the two that i prefer to use because of their amazing benefits the improved blood circulation around our scalp area and also if you're putting it on your skin it's just it's just great um so put that in and then go on and whip it again just to combine everything together now this is the kind of consistency that i ended up with now this one is absolutely fine it just depends on you you can go ahead and just use it this way but i wanted mine slightly thicker than this kind of consistency so um, to be able to obtain a slightly thicker consistency, you just need to pop that back in the freezer, okay? And just allow it to sit for another few minutes and then take it out and then we're going to go ahead and whip it again. But just let's just take a few seconds just to appreciate how moisturizing that's, you know, that always looking on my skin, like look at it. <laughs> it's just great um so yeah really great really moisturizing um so if you're thinking of you know any kind of moisturizing butter this is the one that you need to try guys it's just so great so i put that back in the freezer uh because it, like i said it was a bit too runny for me um so this is basically what it should look like after you take it out so go ahead and whip it again now the longer you whip this the thicker it is going to get so um it just depends on you really i just wanted mine so thicker than the other consistency that i had okay guys so this is what i ended up with the second time um this is actually perfect for me i didn't want it too thick and i didn't want it too runny so this was perfectly okay now bear in mind also that when you let this sit for a while after whipping it it will become slightly hard again so don't make it too hard because it would just be harder if that makes sense uh once it just sits for a while um so that's basically what it looks like after it sat for a little bit you can see it's slightly thicker than what i had before and this is actually perfect um uh, for what i wanted it for so i'm just going to go ahead and show you what it looks like on my skin again but you can see how moisturizing that is like really great really really great um so yeah i'm actually going to use this more often now just to keep my skin you know looking a little bit shiny i noticed that recently my skin has just been looking a bit dull i don't really know why that is because i haven't changed anything if anything i'm drinking even more water now but for some reason yeah my skin is just a bit dull maybe it's just hormones so yeah we'll be using this just to you know get it to look a bit shinier than it used to um so yeah i'm just going to show you in this little clip here how i'm applying this to my hair now i have braids on at the moment as you guys know um but you can certainly apply this to your hair in whatever state it is like if you've got twists or your hair's out maybe you just washed it and you're moisturizing and sealing the moisture this can be used as well for this um for, the, for that kind of thing um but because i've got braids i have to show you how i do this with braids so i'm just moisturizing my hair here using my aloe vera and fenugreek leave-in conditioner and then i'm using this to seal the moisture in my hair um so yeah just rub it in your hand it really melts easily and then i'm just going to pop it on my hair and massage that in you know just to allow the my, my hair to absorb it and to seal the moisture in my hair pretty much now don't worry about the fact that it's looking a bit white you just need to rub it more like you know rub it more just to um 
you know allow it to up to your head to absorb pretty much and then that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching guys if you made it to the end of the video i'm so grateful thank you so much for doing that i really appreciate it now i do hope that you know you've enjoyed watching today's video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share with your friends your family or anyone that you believe could benefit from this also leave me a comment guys i read them all and yeah on that note subscribe as well if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video so thank you so much for watching take care bye